Supposedly we're on the road to Jerry Bruckheimer's farm. Let's see if we can get in. Don't have a pass. Call the guy who had his number, but didn't return the call, so. You, you buying any of this? No. decided today that we were going to get out. We've been kind of socially, socially distancing, socially. <laughs> distancing ourselves from each other. No, I'm just kidding. Not each other, but, <laughs> but we have pretty much been, I've been working from home. It's a Saturday. We decided we'd get out and we've been, you know, just driving through some of these little small towns in Kentucky. But right now we have gotten, gotten behind a funeral procession. So what do you think? We're going maybe five miles an hour? I think we're doing a little more than that. But I feel bad for anybody who's got to deal with a funeral today. And we want to see the countryside. And the best way to do it is slow down, right? So we're slowing down. We're seeing the countryside, so we can't complain, really. Of course, everyone knows the name Jerry Bruckheimer from famous movies like Flash Dance. Oh, what a feeling. Top Gun with a need for speed. The Rock, Beverly Hills Cow, Pirates of the Caribbean. But he's also done a lot of TV shows. And though he was born in Detroit, he loves him some Kentucky. And if you've ever been here, you'll know why. It's simply beautiful. This four-way intersection is the hub of everything in town. It's right by the city meeting hall and a few shops we're gonna be checking out. This is so cool. Hang on, we're gonna pull over right here and get the road trip started. Just to give you an idea of this little town of Bloomfield, there's just this one section. There's probably about seven little shops. You've got um, Maryfield's Tea Room, Miss Maryfield actually, the old Sugar Valley Country Store, Nettie Antiques. Of course, there's a new hometown pizza. All these buildings date back to 1898, back when they really knew how to have some style and architecture. You don't see this stuff anymore. We're hoping we can get lucky enough to maybe take a sneak peek at Jerry. Maybe he's going to be hanging around somewhere, even though, you know, COVID-19 has got the whole town shut down. But, you know, we're, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I'm not sure what this store sells, but these signs are so cool. we got John Wayne in the window, too. Love this. W.C. Field. Eh, go away, kid. You bother me. Supposedly, we're on the road to Jerry Bruckheimer's farm. Let's see if we can get in. Don't have a pass. Call the guy who had his number, but didn't return the call, so. You, you buying any of this? No. <laughs> nope. You're not either, are you? No. This looks like it could be it. Big farm, of course, that's what you expect from somebody like Jerry Bruckheimer. Just had to find the front gates and uh, see what happens. Boy, this is a nice drive. We found it, but the passcode didn't work that they uh, gave us for the gate. You're still not buying it, are you? No, our whole intention of going to Jerry's place was showing you what it looked like inside, you know? Maybe talk to the dogs. Chances are that wasn't gonna happen though, because, well, you know, we don't know him, but that's okay. We've got another adventure we can go on. Okay, so the meetup with Jerry Bruckheimer didn't go so well. So we're caught in this dilemma. We got the COVID-19 thing going on. We really got to get out of the house. So we came to Bernheim Forest and we thought we might show you around a little bit. Just turning spring and the colors are just about to come in. I don't know if you guys can get this cool vantage point. This is a really beautiful tree right here. It's a hybrid magnolia. I know it seems like we come out to Bernheim a lot, but there's just so much out here to see. I'm gonna try to show you guys some more of it. We 
we've seen some of the pretty stuff but a lot of the stuff isn't coming back just yet I don't know how well you can see this but in our adventures today we came across the hugging tree see the tree hugging the other one and see that eye <laughs> kind of like he's looking at us what are you looking at nothing man we're not looking at anything okay <laughs> no well, sorry check these out pair of trees you can sit on made for this then you can get your Hogwarts on. <laughs> Howdy! Howdy! I think people are going to find that this COVID-19 has given me way too much free time. Look, the kind of fence I could build. Just lay sticks down and interlace them. Very early American. Literally. One of my favorite trees of all that I've always loved, I guess it goes back to my childhood when we had one in our front yard, I think, front or back, is magnolia tree. These are a little bit different. They're smaller. They're called a saucer magnolia. And I just love the way that Bernheim has taken these trees and kind of clumped them together. There's four of them. It's really hard to show them all in this picture. I can just imagine being back here during the spring when it's a little bit warmer than today but if you could just kind of imagine this area right here of having a picture of the bride and groom with the beautiful green grass behind it and the lake, it would just take incredible pictures. I really like this. For some reason, I keep thinking of the ships at sea, but around here, it's probably more about horses and racing. Isn't that cool? And I guess I shouldn't consider it unusual that it being a forest, pine cones are everywhere. A lot of you may not know this, but according to Ewell Gibbons, many parts of a pine cone are edible. Definitely high in fiber. Okay, who's Googling Ewell Gibbons right now? You? And with this COVID-19 thing going on, we've been having a run on toilet paper. You know what they did back in the old days before they had toilet paper? Nope. Before the Sears and Roebuck catalog. They had plants, my friend, called rabbit ear. Nice and soft, fuzzy on the tushy but you can see why it probably wouldn't be something we would want to do nowadays. Unless, of course, we still can't find toilet paper in a month or two. Okay, I had to unword myself to remind you guys that if you like this kind of video, give us a thumbs up, all right, and subscribe because that makes YouTube want to promote our channel to other people, other folks like you that I hope are enjoying what we do. The weirdness, the stupidity. Oh, well, that's my part. My, my wife's the sane one. And you know, if you click the notification bell, you'll get notified on some of the other silly things that we're going to be doing. Just click the bell. And don't forget, adventure lovers, adventure is as close as the next off ramp. Thank you. And you know, if you click the notification bell, you'll get notified on some of the other silly things that we're gonna be doing. Just click the bell. Click the bell and you'll be notified every time we make a new video. Oh, did that not say that? <laughs> kind, of, <laughs> kind of a long way to go around it, but okay. okay. You, we got it, didn't we? Okay, we got it. No, that's good. I'll do that again. <laughs> Take five. <laughs> click the notification bell and you will get and you'll be notified when we make a new video. I never can say what he says. I want to say it my way. Okay, we're going to do this you, two times. Do it your way. Two times. She, she's going to do it her way. So, click the notification bell. You will get automatic notifications of any of our videos that we do going forward. Did that not make sense? I love it. It's great. <laughs> okay, hon, quick confession. <laughs> do you feel you look as dorky as I feel I look? I have not felt so weird looking in my life. In fact, I've, I've seen people wear these things that are really tall. 
I think you're very fashionable. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. I'm her husband. I have to say that. You know that. <laughs> but you know what? I am warm, so I think I'm okay. I'll tell you what, when, when it comes to being warm, you know, it doesn't matter really how you look or, exactly. or when you need toilet paper, rabbit sears, good. So we're walking around Bernheim. We've already been to a couple other places. We took you up to Bloomfield. And I said, the one thing I said was, do not put me on Video. She did. She said, don't, don't you dare. I didn't want to be a part of anything. But you know, we just want you to see, we just get out and we look goofy, but we love it. We just love being out here. It's a beautiful place. So, okay. I'm not showing anything else. This is it. Stop I'm done. Me. Stop I'm me. Okay. She's I'm stopping done. me. Good. Okay.